point four capital fam, it's your girl Poison. <laughs> I wanna be a TV host, guys. Can y'all tease me now? <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to the sauce. Today we have Poison Ivy. Hey, what's up? The sauce, I like that. What's going on? You're We're good. good. You're good? I'm wonderful. How about yourself? <laughs> I'm well. Um, let's start off with, um, your name is Ivy. It's Poison Ivy. It Why Poison Ivy, Poison Ivy like the plant? Yeah, I mean, you know, I am a huge fan of comic books. Shout out to Batman. That's where the Poison Ivy comes from. Um, and when I was a kid, they used to make fun of me because I was named Ivy, so I just turned into like my superpower. So yeah, it's lit. It's lit, it's lit, it's lit. So yeah. <laughs> what musical trends influence your music selection while DJing? Play KE music all day, baby. No, I mean, in all honesty, just playing good music, playing what I feel, playing for the people. But of course, using my platform to make sure that music from our side of the world is heard. So I'm listening to a lot of Kenyan music, so. Yeah. Is that why you've been playing a lot of Dundaying and Ethic yeah. on the court? Yeah, shout out to King Kaka, shout out to Ethic, shout out to um, my favorite record right now is Pandana, by the way. So, um, no, yeah, that's how we hold it down for the hometown. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So, as a DJ and a former bowler, what... Um, what's the best part about your job as a Mavericks DJ? Oh uh, man, I get to watch my favorite sport for a living um, and I get to watch my favorite team play for a living so it's lit. I'm super excited so um, and represent us and, and just you know represent women and um, you know work at the intersection of sports and music. It's cool. I just I get to really have fun for a living so yeah. <laughs> so um, what does it mean to you being the first female DJ for the Mavericks? Man, it means everything. I grew up working for that team. A lot of people don't know that, but I grew up being a balky for that team. I, I, I literally rose up the ranks. Um, so it's just a testament to hard work paying off um, and just really inspiring kids to, you know, turn lemons into like caviar and all that expensive of the ish. You know what I mean? It's just don't give up on your dreams and make sure that, you know, um, you love what you do each day, every day, all day. So, yeah. <laughs> Who's your favorite baller? I'm a big fan of Dennis Smith Jr. I'm a big fan of Luka Doncic and of course, I mean, Dirk Nowitzki, um, Michael Jordan. Um, yeah, I mean, I love ball. So, Skylar Diggins Smith, WNBA, um, Joel Embiid, I mean, Giannis Antetokounmpo, waiting for our first Kenyan NBA player, you know, so yeah. <laughs> Going back to the music, um, what Kenyan tracks have gotten the best traction um, at the Mavericks? Man, I I mean, I just try a little bit of everything with the Mavericks, but I, I want to say right now, I'm super excited for your, um, for Nashinsky, man, um, and what he's doing to just really get out there, obviously, being featured on Pastor Rankin's new album, which is the reason why we're here today. Um, you know, Marathon Runner just shedding light on, you know, Elliot Kipchoge, and really just building our legends. My biggest thing is building our legends, you know what I mean, and making sure that people know that we are legendary. I mean, look at our, look at our, look at our, look at our lineage, look at who we are, look at what we represent, look at who we represent in the world, you know, the first greatest, you know, first black leader of the free world. I mean, Oscar winning actress. I mean, we're defying literally like records with Elliot. I mean, it's, it's just so much, but all of that comes from different areas of our country. So, I mean, I just want everybody to be just, you know, proud, proud to be Kenyan, you know what I mean? Proudly so, Kenyan. You say it's our head, just, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we go everywhere, we're taking everywhere, you know? <laughs> That's cool. That brings yeah. me to my next question. Yeah. Um, you keep on making f a lot of fashion statements. Yeah. What's up with that? I mean, I only have so many ways to express myself, and sometimes I really can't say what I don't always have the mic, you know. Um, I'm not a singer or a rapper, and granted, I'm a DJ, and you know, but I feel like I'm gonna express myself any and every which way I can. So, from my crazy hair to my fits to my kicks to all of that, I mean, I'm a, like the t shirt queen. I just feel like you know, I'm gonna use each and every platform to, to tell y'all how I feel. So, you know, and not only that, but help support young entrepreneurs. A lot of people out here with clothing lines and, you know, I just give out the support that at some point I always wanted to get and got from certain people. So I gotta make sure to put that same energy back out into the certain, you know, into the world. So about your daughter, um, what is the legacy that you'd like to leave behind for her? Um, your mama busted her ASS every single day to make sure <laughs> clearly <laughs> that she had everything she needed and wanted. Um, and not only that, but just um, your mom is proud of who she is and I want you to be proud of who you are, baby girl. 
And, um, you know, I just, I want her to be happy and healthy and whole. So I always tell her, happy, healthy, whole. If she's all of those, mommy doesn't have a care in the world. Um, I don't want her to live up to any legacy or any pressures. Her life is her life and mine is mine. Keep it separate. But I just want to know that her mommy loved her with everything that she had in her. So, yeah. Wow, that's so sweet. So there have been other DJs who have ventured into other types of um, careers yes. apart from just DJing. Yes. What would that be for you? And or are, are you thinking of doing such things? Yeah, I'm here. Part of the reason why I'm here, outside of being on vacation, is just to begin some groundwork on my album. So just following, you know, um, in 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 steps to you know, uh, diversify as a DJ. Obviously the DJ this day, these days is more than just the person at the club and in the radio station. Um, we're curators, we're bringing together sounds, and so that's what I'm doing. Um, but also, I mean, I have a lot of different passions. I want it to be the first female commissioner of the NBA. Uh, so it's a blessing that I still work within the league. So don't be surprised if, you know, obviously we're getting a, the Basketball Africa League. And uh, Kenya is one of the 12 teams that will be uh, re represented in that league. So I'm hoping that um, somewhere in that NBA Africa Basketball Africa League office, there might be a job for me. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully. But, uh, ho nah, we saying it. It will be a job for me, but hopefully not. Um, but I, you know, I don't know, man. I wake up every day with different desires, so you truly never know. But uh, my biggest passions are just, you know, sports and music. And so long as I can get to, you know, work in that sphere in my life, I'm Gucci. I'm good. Okay. You talked about an album. Is yes. Victoria Kemani going to feature? Most freaking likely, yeah. Hey, sis. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, that's, that's one of my greatest friends. Um, amazing artist, amazing singer songwriters, amazing human being. And people always always I know it's crazy why everybody always asks me. You've worked before with her. Yeah, we do already have records. Um, you know, we got the Body and Soul record. Um, but you know, she's doing her thing, I'm doing my thing. But I mean, there's nothing that I ever do that Vic doesn't know about. <laughs> so, you know, if she's free and she, she likes what I pick, beats wise, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Amazing. One last question. Um, what do you see yourself doing in the next, I don't know, five years or years to come? Living my life like it's golden. Living my life. No, I mean, truth be told, man, I'm just really in a space where I'm happy and I'm trying to find my true and ultimate happiness. And I'm chasing that relentlessly, you know. So I see myself further than where I am now, you know, um, just continuing to put the continent on our backs and the country on our backs and um, just, you know, being a strong, bold, accomplished, happy, confident African woman, you know what I mean? Um, whatever that looks like in five years, but I, I think that, you know, I just want to be happy and I just want to make sure I can put food on the table for my family, but also I want to make sure that all the opportunities that were given to me, I can somehow find a way to give them back to those who are like me, less fortunate than me, so. I mean, I'm just, yeah, that's, that's it, man. Just doing what's good for the soul, that's it. <laughs> that's amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yay! Uh, um, I hope that was saucy enough for y'all. <laughs> yes, it was. Thank you very much. Thank you. What's good, everybody? This your girl, Poison Ivy, the DJ, the 254 Bad Gal official DJ of the world, champion Dallas Mavericks, and you are now watching the sauce okay so make sure you hit that subscribe button for more